everyone, I'm Emily. And I'm Scar. And welcome back to another episode of the Cottage Horse Podcast, where we get whimsical, wild, and whatever else every other Wednesday. We have an exciting episode for you today, so we hope you enjoy. Hello, hello. Just a quick note before this episode begins, there will be spoilers for the Ace Attorney games. We are discussing character names and a little bit of information about them and their cases. So if you don't want to be spoiled, please click off, join us another time. But if you are interested, please keep listening because this was so much fun to do and it was so funny. Also, another quick note, I kept calling the Ace Attorney Investigations game Miles Edgeworth Investigations. I don't know why I kept making that mistake, but I did. And I apologise because... That is stupid of me, but I mean Ace Attorney Investigations, but for some reason, I just kept getting it mixed up. So apologies for that, but I hope you enjoy the episode. (gasps) We're back. Hello, hello, hello. To those who are watching, you will see that I am dressed quite nicely for once on the podcast. That's not just because I decided to be funky fresh today. That is because I have picked my outfit to match a certain gay prosecutor potentially gay gay prosecutor i was gonna say is he (laughs) no but like no but come on listen i love mr miles edgeworth we love him in phoenix anyway much awaited phoenix right miles edgeworth ace attorney episode is here ladies and gentlemen cue the applause (laughs) we've been waiting for it for so long I feel like I've been saying I've been doing it for years at this point. I just never have, but here I am. I am delivering this time. I thought it'd be fun. I actually have two episode ideas for this, but we're doing the first one first because it makes the most sense. We're so, doing the first one first. Yes, that is English. <laughs> I'm sure everyone is <laughs> proud of me for that sentence. I'm very excited. That's why I'm just like, can't say words. But we're doing this one. It's called the Ace Attorney Name Game. Simple structure that I'll explain to you. There is in Ace Attorney, a bunch of characters who have puns for names, either that through like the translation or localization of the games. They're very punny um, or they're just very silly names um, and they mean something. Pretty much everyone in the games has a pun based name, whether that be like the Latin translation or the Japanese translation. There was a whole PDF I went through. So shout out to the PDF I found online. It was so helpful. And that's where I got pretty much all the real names from. And then I also made up a bunch of fake names that I thought would be funny to have in the Ace Attorney universe. There was also a few I plucked from Reddit because I am not that clever. So I have to steal someone else's ideas. <laughs> so, but I will give credit where credit is due on the slides. But also because I felt like that would be too boring, I wanted to spice it up even more. So when you tell me if the name is real or fake, I will also ask you if you think this person is guilty or not guilty so what is your verdict did they commit a crime based on their name or are they just a person because i thought that would be funny to vibe check these people (laughs) all right so there are layers vibe check yeah i was like is it going to be too like simple just to be like real fake real fake i was like i want to add a bit of spice and i was like what about giving the verdict on these people because i think that's funny (laughs) i was like i want to do that so here we go. Let me share my screen and make sure okay. that everyone can see what's occurring. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, God. bestie. This this is this is this is real. This is real. <laughs> so this is Mr. Miles me Edgeworth. You were dedicated. <laughs> I had such a creative vision in my mind for this PowerPoint. If you are not watching like the video version of this, either like on Spotify or YouTube, please do that because I spent so much time making this <laughs> PowerPoint. <laughs> Um, but it's gorgeous i found this template and i immediately was like i am using it but then i only used the title screen so this template basically was only the title screen and then i made it my own so it was really pointless for me to be honest but we move (laughs) uh (laughs) but here we have mr phoenix Wright in the blue and then obviously mr marge edgeworth in the red which i'm matching him quite perfectly to be honest very impressed but anyway you're missing a little neck ruffle though i know i don't have a cravat which is so disappointing um yeah, I can't I can't do anything about that. I don't even have anything that would work apart from like a pair of tights, mm. which I'm not putting around my neck. So <laughs> we we move. I kind of wish move. you had though. That would be funny. It'd be, oh, I should have crocheted a cravat. Oh, okay. For the <gasps> next, next episode. episode, for the next episode, I'll dye my hair silver. I'll crochet myself a cravat and I'll wear this shirt and then we'll go. We'll move. 
Um, okay, anyway. I'm holding you to that. Oh God. Okay, I need to remember to do that. I'll forget. Maybe not the silver <laughs> hair, but I'll do the. Maybe I'll get a wig. <laughs> maybe I'll go for that. <laughs> oh God. All right. Oh, I no. like it. I like it. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It doesn't let me click the screen through here. Okay. So, the first name we have, real or fake, Ted to Nate. Okay, so you said they're punny, so it could be like a play on like detonate. Mm -hmm. We could have like bombed something. Mm -hmm. True. I'm trying to decide if you would like psych me out with a real one or a fake one in the beginning. (laughs) Oh, I see. Mind games. Yeah, I had to. I basically put. I put these names for a random for any of the names. No, you don't. Aside from Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth, I put all the names into a shuffler so that it would give me a random order, so that I wasn't subconsciously picking an order of real and fake so there should be like it's fairly mixed up if that makes sense so okay (laughs) i'm gonna say real okay okay and what's your verdict on this man i'm gonna say not guilty oh okay right so let's go so you were correct this man is real this is what he looks like um, oh. And as for the verdict, he is guilty. But funnily enough, Damn. he did not bomb someone. He actually just smacked someone over <laughs> the head with a bomb. So <laughs> he was actually, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I should have said at the top, I'll probably insert this before we get into the episode. There will be spoilers um, just because if you haven't played the games, I'll be talking about the names. I'll be telling you if they're innocent or not, like not. So just as a preface at this point. But you've probably heard me say that at the top of the episode. So anyway, but just mentioning it here for myself in the edit. But anyway, yeah, this man, he was part of the police force. Um, and basically he would uh, steal bombs and sell them on the black market. And then he got caught. And then he bonked someone over the head with a bomb. <laughs> and then uh, planted their body in the courtroom that then got bombed by a bomb that was reactivated. So crazy times. Crazy times. Sounds about right. Truly. Yeah. Um, and his, like, breakdown, they all have, like, a very, like, cartoonish breakdown when they, like, get caught or, like, when Phoenix Wright catches them out and he's like, no, you did do it. And his breakdown is, like, terrifying. Like, it kind of haunts me in my dreams a little bit. Like, it's really scary. <laughs> like, a lot of them just cry, but his is, like, actually kind of, like, awful. Anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly all on. Right. <laughs> Next up, we have <laughs> Jack Hammer. <laughs> Real or fake? <laughs> I, like, want that to be fake, like... <laughs> There's going to be a lot of too... those that you're like, <laughs> I want this to be fake. It's too on the nose. But I feel like, <laughs> just based on what you've told me about these games, they are so campy that I feel like yeah. on the nose is is probably not that far off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say real. Okay. And the verdict of this person. I'm going to say not guilty again. Okay, so I want to see the best person, of people. This person is indeed real. This is what he looks like. Um, he was like an action <laughs> figure man. Like he was in. He did loads of like film stuff. Um, and the verdict. Well, he's actually dead, but he's also guilty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, long story short, on him, he was an action man. He like committed manslaughter. Um, that's not what he's guilty for. Although you should be guilty for manslaughter. Um, and then he, like, essentially went to get vengeance for, like, someone who was blackmailing him for this crime that he did that, like, got covered up. Um, and then in that attack, he ended up, like, basically falling and spearing himself on a fence or a prop. I can't remember which one it was. But anyway, very traumatic. Um, so, slay. And R.I.P. Okay. Bestie. Still, still samurai R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, Okay. Also, I love I love all like the little images. Some of them, some of these images, by the way, are like really low quality. They're like one pixel because they're from like the DS the DS era of rendering games, so they have like no quality to them. And I actually think the quality gets worse as we go, <laughs> which was completely not oh. intentional. So anyway, perfect. En- enjoy that when it comes. Okay. I will. Next up, we have Miss Terry. Oh, like mystery. Yeah. I'm going to say fake on this one. Okay. And your verdict? 
Well, I mean, if I think they're fake, then it doesn't really matter. But in case they well, are I, real, I, I'm going to stick to not guilty. Someone is going <laughs> to be not guilty, damn it. <laughs> you, I mean, you're correct. Someone will be not guilty. Um, <laughs> but this person is indeed fake. I made that up. It was very silly. But I was like, I wanted to make a pun of mystery and I was struggling. I was like, how <laughs> do I do this? I was like, it does have to be Miss Terry. And then I was trying to think if she'd have like sisters or like siblings and what their names would be. And I did not have the brain cells for it. Because a lot, because there's like Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. There's like a group of sisters called Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. And I was like, bro, but I could not think that far ahead. So I failed. That's fair. I failed. That's okay. okay. Next up, we have I Candace sussed it out. <laughs> Candice oh, Arm. Like, real or fake? Candice Arm. <laughs> this is just gonna be an episode of me laughing of these names. I just, I just can't. This can make I an edit can't. of every time you laugh. <laughs> It'll be the whole just episode. Splice them all length. together. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be funny. Can't I'm Can't gonna disarm. say real. Yep. I'm gonna say guilty. Oh. <gasps> Your first guilty verdict. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Candace so, is sus. Candace is sus. Well, Candace arm is indeed real. This is what she looks like. Slay. Mm. And the verdict of Miss Candace. She is innocent. I've put innocent here because some of them are just like <sighs> bystanders or just like people. So I didn't put not guilty. Although I know that is the legal term. So I apologize. But a lot of them weren't tried in a court of law. So <laughs> I just gave them the title of innocent. Damn. But... She's also dead. This was the person that Ted Tinney <laughs> bonked over the head with a bomb. <laughs> so <laughs> They used to work together. Um, she found out he was stealing bombs and selling them on the bot market and then he bonked her. So, yeah. R.I.P. can disarm. She did not disarm the bomb that went off in the courtroom because she was dead. And that is a shame. So I guess really yeah. she should be can't disarm. <sighs> Put that on her tombstone. <laughs> That'd be so mean. <laughs> <laughs> can't disarm really can't disarm in her obituary okay next up we have eustace winner eustace winner i'm not sure how you pronounce this one some of them i don't know how you pronounce because i haven't heard them spoken some of them i know um some of them i don't know in terms of just in general pronoun pronunciations of this and i don't know how this is intended to be pronounced by the person who named this so just letting you know okay. there are some i just don't know I mean, that makes me this. think it's real. Well, I saw this written down. I know I you like, got some up, right? I did. I did indeed. But, I mean, that's how I've always pronounced the name. Eustace Winner. That's what I thought. But. But I... Eustace Winner? Eustace Winner. I'm trying to think of, like, what that'd be a pun of. So, this was given in the parentheses uh, two ways of interpreting this name. So. Which I will tell you, but I won't tell you now. <laughs> yeah, this is why I'm unsure on the pronunciation because one of the puns, I'm like, it doesn't really work with the way I say it. So I'm like, mm. hmm. Okay. I'm going to go real. Okay. And your verdict. I don't know. I'm really bad at this part. Um, <laughs> you are. I think you've been over, over like five at this point. <laughs> we're we're gonna say innocent, not guilty again. Okay, sticking to your not guilty, right? So this person, this is real. This is what he looks like. Every two pixels of him. <laughs> um, <laughs> What's with the hair? I don't know. They all have silly hair. Did you not see Phoenix Wright's hair? It's a fucking spiky Sonic ball on his head. I know, but I didn't expect the little question mark. He looks like he wants to be a Pikmin. <laughs> oh, he does. Okay. Um, <laughs> and the verdict of this person is, he's innocent. You got it right, bestie. Yes. He is a prosecutor. He's a prosecutor. So in the Miles Edgeworth investigations games that are being remastered for the Switch, he is one of the characters who was in the original games. He used to have a different name, but then like with the translation and localization, they gave him this name. Um, he used to be called Sebastian mm. by the fans, and now he's called Eustace Winner, which is either <laughs> useless whiner or justice winner, depending on how you interpret his character and his personality. So he kind of got, like, stitched up a little bit. Um, okay. But yeah, he's a prosecutor, man, part of the the little gang 
Um, I think that's why he has a little question mark on his head. I don't know. <laughs> but there he is. I don't know if I trust there he him is. to represent no. me, but... <laughs> well, apparently he's really bad at his job, so that's probably for the best. So... Oh, well, there you go then. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, that's quite sad. I felt quite bad when I was reading a little bit about him on the wiki. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have Luke at me. Luke at me. Real or fake? <laughs> it's your like expression my brain at everyone. So <laughs> Every time I look at your expression, I'm just dying. <laughs> oh gosh! It's Listen, so we're funny. recording this on a Friday after work. That's it's the been best a long time. week because the vibes here immaculate. Truly okay, immaculate. I'm gonna say fake. Okay, and your verdict? I mean, I think it's fake, but in case it's not, I'm going to say guilty. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, this person is... He's real! This is what he looks like. Oh. <laughs> um, and the verdict... <laughs> <laughs> um, this man is very guilty. <laughs> I was going to say, you cannot tell me that is an innocent man. <laughs> Some of them, when you just see their picture, you're like, bro, who are you trying to fool? It's so funny because you always like, essentially, if you're unaware of the games and you have made it this far into the episode, you you essentially play as Phoenix Wright in the main body of games. But there's sometimes where you play as like other people, like Apollo Justice, whatever. Um, I love Apollo. I didn't mean that in a mean way. But anyway, um, just defending my boy because he did not get the love he deserves. Anyway, um, you play as Phoenix Wright. You basically take up a defendant because you are a defense attorney. Um, but like it'll always be like miss like it'll be like this one like as an example it'll always be like this beautifully innocent like pristine young girl on the stand who's been like tried for fucking like brutally murdering this man in cold blood and then you have like this man in the stands as a witness and you're like look to the left like look to the left and you just can tell that this man is so fucking guilty it's so funny because it's like it's like with the Ted to Nate thing like you're we were, you were trying I don't know what the name of the girl was. You're trying someone else. And there's bloody Ted to Nate in the fucking building. And I'm like, please use a brain cell. I'm not trying to discriminate people on their names, but please. <laughs> please use well, in this one case, brain. Their names in this are case, set up to Oh, for sure. But yeah, he's 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 guilty. Look at me, and he was in fact guilty. So but he that's one of my favorite pun names. I like that one. I was like, that's clever clocks. That is clever. It's a good one. Okay. Next, we have Evie Dance. Real or fake, Evie Dance? Evie Dance. Oh, like evidence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say fake again. Okay. And your verdict? Not guilty. Damn. Okay. So this person, yeah. It's a fake one. It's a fake one that I made. Um, I did envision this person being a police officer or like someone who works in the police force. Because I think it's funny if there's a police officer in the game called Evie Dance for evidence. I think that's funny. So yeah, that's my little personal headcanon <laughs> for that one. <laughs> okay, next one. Someone put Scar in the game with that character. <laughs> please, please Capcom, please. I'm on my knees. <laughs> okay, next one. Real or fake? Nailing Dakota. Okay, <laughs> that's so much to absorb. <laughs> I just cannot even. I'm like crying. It's just so stupid. Imagine a small Victorian child like hearing about this. I just can't. I just cannot even. Nailing <sighs> the. <laughs> oh dear um, me. Oh. Honestly, I'm gonna say real because I low key want this one to be real. <laughs> and but I'm gonna say oh. innocent, not guilty. <laughs> so you think the best? <laughs> okay, I've calmed down. I have calmed down. Um, yes. Unfortunately, this is actually fake, and I love <laughs> this one so much. <laughs> I I saw this on Reddit 
So credit to Angsty Spaghetti on Reddit for this. I saw this on Reddit and I was pissing myself. I could not stop <laughs> laughing at someone called Baylin <laughs> in Ace Attorney. I was like, please, this has to be used in one of the games. It was so funny to me. I was like, I need this in my life. My life is not complete. When we when oh. we get to the name, will you tell me which one made you laugh out loud on the train? Oh, the one that I made out that made me laugh? Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. Sal Manella. Yeah, Sal Manella. This is like Jackhammer where I don't want it to be real, but I kind of like feel like it is. <laughs> it's, it's really funny because the games have a really good blend of like ones like Jackhammer where it's like, oh, okay, like this is like, this is really obvious. And then ones where it's like, oh, it's actually like the Latin interpretation. And I'm like, I don't know Latin. So I was never going to get that. But like, clever. <laughs> so it's like, there's some that yeah. are more obscure. She's thinking. She's doing. She's doing a big think. <laughs> Honestly, head empty, no thoughts. Truly, I, That's me I so like, much was playing also these games. thinking. I was also like, well, it could be like Manila envelope, and then I'm like, what would the sal be? So <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna say. <laughs> this is what i imagine what's going through like in court when the judge is like phoenix right can you provide evidence to substantiate your claim and i'm desperately going through all the fucking like case information <laughs> trying to find something that proves my point because i have no idea what's going on <laughs> and it's just silence in court for like 10 minutes <laughs> and like, is he okay i'm gonna say Fake. Okay, and your verdict. In case this person's real. <gasps> okay, Salmonella. <laughs> he is real. This is what he looks like. Motherfucker. <laughs> and oh, <God. laughs> the verdict of this man is he is technically not guilty, but he is an accomplice to Jack Hammer and his manslaughter. So he's potentially guilty, but was never tried for his crimes. So he is technically roaming free. And he made a t television show that was very successful. So, slay for him, I guess. But, you know. I'm losing so many brain cells. <sighs> Me. Me too. <laughs> Me too, when I play these games sometimes. <laughs> I, sometimes I try and solve the cases and I'm like, the dots are not connecting up here right now. I've missed something obvious and I do not get it. Okay, next one. Howie Bowden. <laughs> Real or fake? Howie Bowden. <laughs> Uh, I like that one. Um... I almost feel like that one's too good to be real. Oh damn! Like I so feel you're like saying the funny one. You're saying Capcom. You're saying Capcom is not funny. Damn! Had it first. Roast them. Drag them through the. I mean, bar. considering the last one was Salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, okay, let's be honest, Nalene was really <laughs> funny. Nalene de Goffin, literally, I, I... I'm obsessed with that. I'm obsessed with that name. I was like, yes. Immediately, 100% yes. I'm going to yes. say fake. Okay, and what is your verdict? In case they are real, I'm going to say not guilty. Okay. okay Actually, wait, so... can I change? I want to be real. I want to be real, not guilty. Real, not guilty. Okay. Well, this person it sounds like a is... reporter. Oh, interesting. Okay. This person is... It's fake! I made this one up! This God, is what I laughed out loud it. on the train because I genuinely was like, this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should um, have known. It made me laugh yeah. too hard. I should have known it was your humor. <laughs> I just genuinely... <sighs> so basically, for people wondering, I was thinking of pun names on the train the other day for this episode. <laughs> And I thought of that in my brain and I laugh out loud on the train and it was so embarrassing because <laughs> it wasn't even like, it was it, it was a fairly, it was like a half full carriage and I was like, oh my lord. Like, I have just But you laughed. had your headphones on, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. But I'm like, that's embarrassing. So. Okay. 
But, you know, Fair. I don't think any, no one looked at me, but like, I was like, oh dear. But yeah, how about that? I thought that was so funny. And there's like, and then there's also like, there's potential for like, what about that? Like, I was trying to think of that one. Anyway. But yeah, having them as a journalist, very clever. I didn't, I didn't like give this person a, a role in my head, but journalist is clever. Like a little court reporter. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, that's a vibe. Capcom, it's for free. <laughs> it's, it's there. <laughs> Take it, take but it, make please. it look like Scar. Oh, stop! Yeah, yes, make please. it look like you. Um, but in the Until Dawn episode, we made <laughs> where you were just as a reporter. Ah, oh, that's such a deep cut. That's such a deep cut of law. <laughs> I love that we we could have our own like iceberg. You know, like people do icebergs for media. We basically have our own oh, yeah. iceberg based on like some of the stuff we've done. That is depth. That's in the depths of the iceberg. Mm. Oh, that's that's like bottom. Maybe I should make an iceberg. That's too much work. But it would be funny. <laughs> but it'd be, it funny. be funny. Maybe if I have time ever in my life, I'll do it. Okay. You had time one. to make this. Yeah, I know. I know. That's true. But this was for an episode. Maybe we can do a podcast episode of our iceberg. Then then there I can go. justify it to myself. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Coming soon okay. to your ears. Okay, the next one is Gasp in Pain. Real or fake? Gasp in pain. <laughs> real <sighs> guilty. Oh, damn, okay. She was quick off the bat with that one. She's going real and she's going guilty. Well, this person is... He is indeed real. This is what he looks like. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> That's not the what verdict, I thought. <laughs> the verdict of this person is... He's innocent. Um, but he is a very bad man. So... <laughs> Take that with a pinch of salt. Um, he is a uh, prosecutor, um, but he like lies and like manipulates evidence and shit. So like he's very bad, but like technically not guilty. Like has not legally committed a crime, but um, he also has a brother. Would you like to guess his brother's name? Obviously he has the same last name. Right. Major pain. No, Winston pain. God damn it! So you have gasping <sighs> pain and Winston pain. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay. It's so okay. stupid. Oh, I, I have so much delight from these games. Like. Anytime I'm like slightly sad, I think about these games and I am immediately a thousand times happier because I just don't understand. <laughs> like, this is the same Capcom who makes like some of the most serious, like gritty, dark games. And then you have them making this. And I love that so much. That brings me so much joy in my in my heart. <laughs> okay. Next up we have Shelly the Killer. I think this is spelt wrong. I think I added an extra E. I think it's S-H-E-L-L-Y. Just looking at my notes page that I have up with all the names because I needed to remember the order. Because <laughs> I was like, how will I remember? So I think there's actually not an E in there. But anyway, Shelly the Killer. Shelly the Killer. I'm trying to figure out like what part Shelly is. That's like, obviously, the killer. <laughs> what? You got that? That's crazy. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't think too hard about, hard about it because I just wouldn't think too hard about it. Because <laughs> all my brain is coming up with is she'll eat the killer and that's obviously <gasps> not right. Oh my god, but it should be that. It should be like <laughs> Shaleen. It should be like Shaleen the killer. Oh. See? That's that's clever. That's clever. Hannibal who? Hannibal crossover <laughs> when? <laughs> um I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say real but not guilty. Okay. Real but not I, guilty. I feel like trying to throw throw a loop in there. Nice. So you think it's like, oh ha ha, if you've got a really sus name, but actually you're just you're just vibing. Okay. Yes. So this person is indeed real. This is what they look like. 
Um, you'll see they have a little shell on them. That's where the shelly part comes from, because they just have a shell. Oh. Um, the verdict of this person is they are guilty, but they have not been arrested and continue to evade the police to this day for some godforsaken reason, <laughs> because they leave a shell call card at every crime they commit. I uh, don't know how this man hasn't been caught. Uh, truly, it's a mystery to me because you see him as a bellboy, you see him as like a butler. Every time he pops up in the courtroom, I'm like, bitch, this is the serial killer. <laughs> like, he is here in the courtroom. Please, please, please do your job. Um, but he, he's just out there. He'd be out there and he'd be doing his job as killing. He basically is like an All assassin right. or something. Yeah. Um, so like, when I first saw him, I was like, this is the most sus man I've ever seen in my life. And I was so happy when I was proven correct. I was like, damn, <laughs> I nailed that. Not only from his name, because we didn't get a name for him for so long. Like, he was just, like, unnamed until, like, way later on. And I was like, oh, my God. So, anyway, I felt very victorious. <laughs> Next, we have Gail Sell. Real or fake? Hey. Damn, that was quick. Um, verdict on Gail Sell? Guilty. Damn. Guilty Gail Sell. Okay, this person is... <laughs> now, this person's fake. I was just genuinely in the trenches trying to think of <laughs> attorney crime-based words and trying to put them into names. And it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It was so hard. It <laughs> I, was, I was struggling. And I was like, jail cell! <laughs> jail cell, write it down! <laughs> okay. The next one. We have... Verity Gavel. Verity Gavel. Gavel? 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 How do you pronounce the, the banging thing? Gavel? I think it's Gavel. I don't know. I could be Real? wrong. Real? <laughs> she's thinking. The she's verdict's thinking. getting me because either, either she's not guilty because she's the judge, mm -hmm. or she yeah. is guilty and the judge. Oh damn! Okay, <laughs> so there's there's like a there's like a the judge is like oh what makes you think that Mr. Phoenix right and then he's like it's you and she's like no and she has her very comedic breakdown I love that that's that's very on brand we love that I'm gonna say guilty I'm gonna be <gasps> wrong I'm wrong on all of these my vibes are <laughs> terrible today <laughs> the vibes are not vibing but this is the thing the like vibes are this not vibing. But this proves, like, even with the punny names, and it's, like, it, it's hard to get this correct, like, because when you're playing the game, it's the same thing. You'd think, like, oh, I know these characters on their vibes, but you don't. You don't. So, you know, clever work from Capcom. This person is indeed real. This is what she looks like. Absolute slay. Uh, you were right. She is Ooh. indeed a judge. But the verdict on this judge is... Nah, she's innocent. She's a good old, she's a good old chicken. Oh, Sorry to disappoint you. But it would be pretty girl boss if she was a baddie. I mean, she serves. She, she's a baddie, so she serves, but, like, she's not committing crimes, um, at least to my knowledge. Um, she is also in the Miles Edgeworth, Ace, like, Investigations game that's getting remastered for the Switch. I'm so excited to see her in 4K. I am on my knees. This woman, I am obsessed with her. In more ways than so, one. I literally am obsessed with her. I, I don't know what's going on with that fucking fringe, but I love it. I genuinely <laughs> love it so much. <laughs> I just want to know if it moves when she moves. Well, well I'll, when it comes out in September, I'll report back. <laughs> I'll okay. I don't do. know if there's... Like, I is there it... so much gel in it that it's stiff? <laughs> or does it flow? Oh. And she just happens to be, like, tossing her head in this It photo. genuinely could be a piece of cardboard, knowing some of the Ace Attorney's, like, vibes. So like, some of the characters, like, their, like, outfits and stuff are just, like, insane. I can't remember if she's in the trailer. I don't know if she is. I don't know if the hair moves. I'll have to watch it and find out. But otherwise, I'll report back in September. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. This is what the people need. Okay, real or fake? Eureka. <laughs> she's she's thinking off into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was staring out a window. Yeah, I was just like, she's staring. She's in she's in her mind palace. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like running it against like, how we about that? <laughs> and like trying to decide if they're like, on the same level. Oh, don't. When you laughed at how we about that, I felt so, I felt so like 
acknowledged and appreciated because I was like really sad that it was gonna like the one I made up and laughed at was gonna be like one that you were like ooh that's so dumb and fake and I was gonna be so like heartbroken <laughs> so I feel very seen right now <laughs> honestly you should have known we have the same sense of humor no I know but it's just like one of those things where I'm like was it just me in the moment being like sleep delirious and stupid <laughs> like is it actually funny <laughs> I'm gonna say real. Okay, and the verdict on Eureka. Guilty. <gasps> Damn. Okay, Eureka. It's fake, unfortunately. Okay. So disappointing. Should be real. I love it so much. Eureka slay. Um, Evie Striker on Reddit for that one. I was like, that is that is clever. I do like that one. Um, they had a few other ones that were like more Japanese based. Um. And I can't remember them from the top of my head, but they were very good. Um, but yeah, I love it. There was a whole literal Reddit thread dedicated to like people making up fake names, and I was obsessed with it. I was like, this is my people. <laughs> I was like, I found my calling. So I like shout, it. Out to, shout out to all of them. Okay, next up we have Just In Time. Just In Time. <laughs> it's your face every time there's one like this. You're like, no, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very valid this reaction. is a side note but i'm i'm just thinking do you remember uh the sound you used for that tiktok you made of me vibe checking all the uh f1 racers oh yeah <laughs> i, I want to use that of like the name and then just a cut to my face i think that'd be hilarious there is potential here <sighs> The Ace Attorney fans would eat that up. They love this kind of stuff. They love people like seeing the games for the first time. It's hilarious. Fake. Fake. Okay, fake. Damn. Okay. And the verdict on this person in case they are real. Not guilty. <gasps> okay. Well, well done, bestie. This person is indeed fake. RIP just in time. You would have been a real one. Um, <sighs> shout out to Willy Wonka. Yeah, I, for me, I thought this would be funny if this was real and they were just like a reporter or something and they were always late <laughs> even though their name was just in time because that is some very ace attorney logic and i love that personally so but unfortunately they do not exist maybe maybe soon if ace attorney want to make another maybe. game if ace attorney want to make another game they want to make another game capcom 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 <laughs> please make another game <laughs> we all want it okay <laughs> anyway next up we have Dustin Prince. Dustin Prince. <laughs> that look of disgust. <laughs> Fake. Whoa, quick, 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 quick. Okay, Dustin Prince, if they are real, what do you think? Guilty? Not guilty? Deceased? <laughs> Deceased. <laughs> okay, so Dustin Prince. Dustin Prince is real. This is what he looks like. Um, he's he's a cop. It all one pixel of this man <laughs> that I can find. Which but is see, so it was giving Gail Cell. <laughs> it was giving you coming up with shit based on, like, <laughs> cop words. But that's the thing, some of them are, like, cop wordy based. That's why I'm trying to spin it off. Anyway, this is what this man looks like. I don't know why this quality is so low, because he's in, like, the one of the newer, like, rendered rebastered versions, <laughs> but for some reason, this was the only picture of him on the wiki, so this is what we have. Um, but the verdict of this man is he's not guilty, but guess what? He's also dead. <laughs> he yes! <died. laughs> so you got it right. Rest in peace, Dustin. <laughs> R.I.P. Dustin Prince, you had the most iconic police name ever there was like there was once a i can't think of it and i'm sure someone out there knows it but there was like a meme going around um and it was like this police officer had like the the best it was like this it had like the best pun name and i can't remember what it, what it was but it was it was hilarious i think his last name was something like robbers or something it was very funny and i was like that is some ace attorney shit if i've ever ever seen one it's like shout out to the person who tweeted that Harry Styles is an Ace Attorney character who is a hairstylist because you are absolutely spot on. Like, that is genuinely correct. So. <laughs> yes. But RIP Dustin Prince, he got killed by his girlfriend. Um, oh. Yeah. Same same. yeah. Um, I'm sorry I was so excited about your death, dude. That's a little... It's okay. He, um... 
I was going to say he'll live, but that is factually incorrect. <laughs> but he actually will not. He actually will not, but I'm sure he'll uh, forgive you. He got justice in the end, so it's okay. It's okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay, next up. And I, this is our last one. This person Ooh. is called Guy Eldon. Real or fake? <laughs> the brain cogs are whirring on this one. This is also like Shelley <laughs> DeKiller. Don't think too much about it. I don't think you'll be able to like really get the vibe check that was be- trying to be achieved here. Um, but the explanation on this one, very funny. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to say it's real. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to say not guilty. <gasps> so you think Guy Eldon is real and not guilty? Okay, let's see if you have got this correct. So if you're last one, Guy Eldon is in fact real. This is what he looks like. Um, can you figure out why his name is so special based on his image? Does that have to do with his hair looking like noodles and his hat it does. being a bowl? It does, because Eldon spelled the other way is noodle. <laughs> I have <laughs> she's left the building. Ladies and gentlemen, she has left the building. She has left the building. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like genuinely needed a second. <laughs> okay, so this man is basically called Guy Noodle, which I love him and his silly little hair. Um, and the verdict on this man is he is in fact not guilty, so you got it absolutely <laughs> spot on. Um, really disappointingly for this man, his his noodle stand got stolen and used in a murder. Um, so it was a very traumatic time for Mister Guy Noodle. Um, but yeah, I genuinely, when I was playing this for the when I played this case for the first time, it took me embarrassingly long to figure out that Eldon was noodle spelled backwards despite this man having fucking noodle hair and running a noodle stand. I was like, oh, <laughs> right. I think it took him explaining that his name was noodle the other way around for me to be like, I see. I see that the page is connected. Do you think <sighs> what came first? The hair or the 100%. name? Like, I know that's his last name, but like... A hundred percent the hair. A hundred percent. Some some like character designer thought of this and was like, it'd be really funny if he was a noodle stand person. They made this person and then they figured out the name. 1000%. And I, there's definitely loads of characters where you can see if they thought of the name first and if they, or if they thought of the character first. There are so many. And I'm like, you, you knew. There's like an old man who like <laughs> loves pigeons and like goes and feeds the pigeons. And I'm like, you have this idea. Like you knew you wanted an old man who's obsessed with pigeons and you, you, you committed to the bit. I really respect that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was our last one. Um, so that that's the end. Um, I think, honestly, you did really well because these names are so stupid. Like, they are genuinely so outlandish. There are so many that I'm like, this genuine, like, Nail in the Coffin, listen, I'm 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 calling out Capcom. <laughs> Nail in the Coffin has to fucking be in a, in a game. Like, that is, when I read that, I was like, that is, I will never achieve anything as great as that in my life. Like, that person deserves an award. I was like, that is actually I know. the best thing. I really think how about that. <laughs> I really appreciate <laughs> that. I do like that. I do like that. And like I said, like, there's potential you could have, like, what about that? There's, like, they could be siblings. But Nail into Coffin absolutely took me out. Like, actually, I was like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. That was what made me feel justified that I could make this a game was because of that and i was so right because it was so funny um i should have kept yeah. score but i didn't because i didn't want to <laughs> so no idea how well you that's did, okay that doesn't really matter it was the vibes that were important here not not the score it wasn't it wasn't i would say names i did decent yeah, verdict the verdict not so good yeah but they're tough like in the games they're tough and i'm like oh oh RIP. But anyway, if you haven't played the games and you've made it to the end, um, I'd highly suggest playing them for yourself or watching people play them. I know Game Grumps have got a playthrough of them. If you like that kind of humour, I'm sure other people have got them out there as well. But they are so delightful. They're so silly. They're so camp. Um, if you like Professor Layton, this will be right up your alley. 
just puzzling away. Um, they it, it does get hard. There are some in there that where they are quite challenging as well. So if you're worried about like difficulty levels, trust me, there'll be ones and you'll be like, I don't know how we got from A to B, but we are here. And there are cases, and I'm like, there is a case, one case in particular, that made me so for our next episode, which will come out in celebration of the Mars Edgeworth Investigations games, um, in September. So you have to wait. But there is a case. And I played it for the first time. Like, I don't know when it was, but when I played it for the first time, I genuinely was like, this is the actually the most outlandish shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, the way that they present you and they're like, this is what we think happened. And then what actually happened, I'm like, who the hell <laughs> wrote this? They need to be checked in somewhere and need to seek help. And it was like, this needs to happen. So the next episode of Ace Attorney, if people enjoyed this, maybe we'll do more because I could talk about this for years. But the next episode will be, I'm going to be making Emily guess how people actually died based on the evidence that is given to us in the game. So I will present a case. We'll probably only do like two cases because I feel like this could be, it could be quite in depth. And I have, I'm going to make it like those uh, murder mystery game packs you can get on Amazon and shit. Like I'm gonna make it in depth, so it's gonna take a lot of time. It's it's a love child of mine. I'm gonna present you the case of how this person died, um, and I'm gonna give you some evidence, kind of some background information on what occurred, like basic piece, what some of the witnesses said, and then you're gonna tell me actually that's not how they died. This is how they actually died, and I think it's gonna be hilarious to figure out what you come up with because truly, sometimes I'm like I don't know how they came up with this i like you said with the the names and the characters i think they sometimes came up with the real ways that they died first and then retconned them backwards <laughs> based on <laughs> some of the evidence but they are so outlandish they are never it's never straightforward it's never just i didn't like this person so i stabbed them with a knife it is batshit it's truly truly unhinged um so that's all um that's all i have to say enjoy the games look at these two boys tell me they're not in love <laughs> I love. I wish I, love I had the... something that like I was as into as you are that I could do something like this. But like I feel like everything I'm into, you're also into. That's fine. Or you can just chat random stuff. I don't care. I'm done for anything. No, but I want to. I I, I want to make you play a game now. Well, you can do that. I'm down for some revenge. I love me some games. I do. I appreciate it. If I can, if I can make the TV show one happen, I will. That'd be cool. I think that'd be exciting. There are definitely loads you could do. Um, even if it's like, uh, what's that thing called? Like, you know, um, I mean, there is a website for this, but like, I'm, I'm sure you could do your own thing where it's like guessing video games by like a frame or something. There's like potential Ooh. for like, maybe like guessing. Oh my God. Imagine if you made me guess Until Dawn chapters based on a frame. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the way I would be like, leave the episode i'd actually just walk up and get away <laughs> like end recording i'm done <laughs> but it's potential it's potential that's that's, that's... Hmm. I keep that locked in my noodle yeah there's this potential here in my ld you... <laughs> my ld if you'd like to see more ice tiny bullshit um i'm sat even if i have to make episodes by myself <laughs> i'm sat and i'll talk <laughs> because I love this. And also, for all these people out there who loved our Professor Layton episode so much that it's still our number one ranked episode, play these games if you haven't. But also, when World of Steam comes out, I will make another Professor Layton episode for us. But until then, that is dormant because I need inspiration. And currently, there is none. So that is there. And if you haven't watched that episode and you like Ace Attorney and you haven't watched Professor Layton, do the opposite. <laughs> fandoms collide <laughs> please um kiss fandoms kiss please uh, <laughs> so yeah anyway that's all no words do you have any parting words <laughs> no <laughs> i got nothing <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's accurate uh tell me what your favorite real and fake name were was were english can i speak are what are your ah uh? oh yeah ah uh, that's correct Hmm. Um, and if you've got any Ace Tony puns, <laughs> let us know. Who would you be in the Ace Tony universe? I think I'll have to be how about that because that is my new my new life. <laughs> That's my new life. Um, so yeah, let me know because I'm curious. And that Reddit Fred, hilarious. So shout out to everyone on Reddit because I appreciated that. It brought me a lot of joy. I think mine. I think I'm gonna be Nailene the Coffin. <laughs> 
We could be like reporter besties. Yes. <laughs> oh, that'd be brilliant. I need like that one of those, like, you know, all those AI filters of like me in the Studio Ghibli <gasps> universe. We need one, me in the A Attorney universe. There has to be one. There has to be one. <laughs> there has to be one. Oh, don't make me whack out the effects studio on my laptop for TikTok. <laughs> I can't be doing that again. <laughs> no. You know how hard that would be? Yeah, but if there's not one, maybe it's my calling card. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just make one with actual characters and be like, which one am I? Yeah, I probably would do that. Um, I'm sure there's Ace Attorney filters. If there are, then we'll do them on our TikTok. Follow our TikTok. Same handle, same username. We'll make silly videos. I'm sure there'll be a lot of Ace Attorney content because I have brain rot. So watch that out. Watch out for that. They're all content. just going to be Scar. Yeah. They will be. I have ideas. I actually only have one idea, but I will think of more. <laughs> so, we'll be there. We'll be sat. Anyways, that's all. I'm going to say goodbye, if you are also ready to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was looking for uh, Ace Attorney filters or something. <laughs> Out of curiosity. Oh, I'm going to fuck up my algorithm now. Oh, you're screwed. All right, that's you're it. You're screwed. All right. <laughs> Cut the cameras. We're done. Cut it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you never miss a new episode. To stay connected with us, then follow us on social media, which are linked in the description. I've been Emily. And I've been Scar. Tune in next time for the best cottagecore podcast for the cottage whores.